In the world of movies, a budget can only be stretched so far to create hulking green monsters, realistic looking spaceships, or add an extra layer to crazy action sequences. And that means film crews occasionally need to cut corners hoping viewers won't notice. A plan that doesn't always work out. And some terrible effects are way too big to miss. Here are Screen Rant's 10 special effects fails in popular films. The Mummy Returns Although the first movie in the series featured the reverse decay of a 3,000-year-old mummy, biblical plagues, and flesh-eating beetles, it's the film's sequel, The Mummy Returns, that makes this list. The movie features large CGI set pieces like a 100-foot-high tidal wave and a massive jungle, but the graphics weren't as polished when it came to rendering Dwayne The Rock Johnson as the part-human, part-insect Scorpion King. The computer-generated creature was criticized for looking more like a video game character than a movie villain, especially considering the effects of the movie that came before it. Star Trek Insurrection The 1998 Star Trek movie relied on a mix of practical sets, makeup, and computer-generated effects to create the alien planets and outer space scenes needed for its sci-fi storyline. But the movie is best remembered for its shortcomings, starting with its villains, who practice a strange form of skin stretching to keep looking young. When the same machine is used against a Starfleet officer's will, the result is terrible. Besides not making any real sense, the face stretching is so out of place and ugly, the movie simply not showing him being killed would have been a better idea. Star Wars Plenty of moviegoers took issue with George Lucas' use of green screen for the Star Wars prequels, or tweaking scenes from his original trilogy for no reason. But one scene sticks out in all re-released versions of the first movie. In 1997, Lucas decided that computer effects would finally let him use a deleted scene where Han first crosses paths with Jabba the Hutt. The CG Jabba was painted over the human actor, and things only got worse from there. Whether you like the scene or not, it's obvious that technology wasn't where it needed to be to make the CG Jabba match the original puppet. And when Han had to be artificially raised and lowered over Jabba's tail, fans completely forgot they were watching a billion dollar property, and not an amateur computer class. King Kong You'd think that a movie capable of delivering one amazing CG creation should be able to keep that standard across the board. Peter Jackson's King Kong wasn't up to the task. The work done with actor Andy Serkis to bring the giant gorilla to life was incredible, but the dinosaur chase scene wasn't. The first few shots of a brontosaurus stampede can be forgiven, but as the sequence went on and on and on, the effects went from bad to worse. Mismatched effects that know they're bad are one thing, but the movie seemed to have no idea how many eyes would be rolling, and that can never be forgiven. Robocop the modern reboot of Robocop put its $100 million budget to good use, but the original 1987 film only had $13 million to work with. Fans can be thankful that a good chunk of that budget was spent on the practically built Robocop suits alone and relying on practical effects to make Officer Alex Murphy into a crime-stopping cyborg. But the final face-off between Robocop and the movie's corporate villain turned to computers for an added punch, sending him crashing through a window and falling to his death. Apparently, there wasn't time to take a second crack at the shot when they realized the man's limbs were completely out of proportion with the normal humans. Considering the magic the crew pulled off with practical effects, this laughable finale sticks out like a sore thumb. Blade 2 Out of the three films in the Blade series, Blade 2 became the most critically well-received and financially successful of the trilogy, though the sequel is far from perfect. Despite his years of martial arts work, director Guillermo del Toro thought a CG version of Wesley Snipes would work best, taking a fight with two masked vampires to even more superhuman levels. It was an interesting idea, but once the real swordplay was handed off to CG characters, the sequence became one that fans would soon want to forget, with effects that looked like they belonged in a video game, and not in a good way. The Fugitive Harrison Ford's starring role as Dr. Richard Kimball helped guarantee that the story of a man wrongfully accused of murdering his wife would be a hit, with U.S. Marshal Sam Gerard, played by Tommy Lee Jones, stacking the odds even further. But when the men first come face to face, Gerard leaves his target with no choice but to leap to the uncertain waters below. The movie managed to stage an impressive train crash, but their dummy budget was apparently scaled back as a result. We're not saying Ford or even a stuntman should have made the jump, but maybe finding a dummy with arms that actually bent would have been a good place to start. Escape from LA After rescuing the president from the island-turned-prison of Manhattan in Escape from New York, Snake Plissken returns in Escape from LA to save the president's daughter from the island of sin that Los Angeles has become. Unlike the first film, Escape from LA had a relatively massive budget of $50 million. But all that cash couldn't save the movie's now notorious surf scene, in which star Kurt Russell pretends to ride a poorly realized tidal wave while actually acting against a green screen. It may have helped the movie's campy sci-fi fun, but the scene wasn't on the level that any fan could have reasonably hoped for. 
gotta be kidding me. Jaws 3D. It was a very real shark puppet that led Steven Spielberg to huge success with the first Jaws. But by the third movie in the series, there weren't any reservations about using CGI to render the great white shark in three dimensions. Jaws 3D probably planned to use the effect to enhance the tension and as a gimmick to lure in audiences. But the result was at best cheesy and at worst, possibly one of the most ridiculous shots to ever make it into a blockbuster hopeful. To make things worse, the motionless shark and stunned actors were highlighted in slow motion, so audiences wouldn't miss a single terrible frame. Star Wars Attack of the Clones One of the biggest complaints about the Star Wars prequel trilogy is George Lucas' use of CGI, favoring fake green screen over actual sets or costumes. There are plenty of bad effects to pick as a result, but the worst in the trilogy has to be the Republic's clone troopers. Unlike the CGI aliens and impossible sets in the other prequels, George Lucas could have filmed actress in trooper armor, but instead, not a single suit of the Stormtrooper precursors was ever made. The CG troopers were a perfect study in the uncanny valley, looking and acting almost human, but falling short. This left audiences turned off or taken out of the film completely. Since some investment in their ranks was needed for the emotional twists of the entire trilogy, it was probably a bad call in the long run. So what do you think of our list? Did we miss any bad special effects in your favorite movies? Let us know in our comment section and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one.